Belinda here from Belinda's DIYs. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now this is going to be a long video, so let's go ahead and get started. These are the items that I'll be using. I'll be using this tin planter from Dollar Tree, some cotton balls or pom-poms, some floral moss. I'm going to be using this topiary that I had made. And all I did is glue two of the clay planters from Dollar Tree. I used the large one and the small one. I'll also be using two of these foam balls from Dollar Tree. Now this topiary has one of those foam balls that I had covered in moss. And also some foam board. Okay, so I'm going to start by adding some hot glue to the top of the existing topiary. And then I'm going to place the foam ball over the top. And just so you know, you can use some foam balls, but since I had these balls from Dollar Tree, I decided to use these instead. Then I went around adding some more hot glue underneath the ball, as you see me do there. The next thing that I did is draw some bunny ears onto my foam board, and then I cut them out with a box cutter. And here I'm showing you that I cut a round curve on the bottom base of the ear. That way when I hot glue them to the top of the ball, they'll sit right. So now I'm just going to add some hot glue at the bottom base of the ear and then just put it on top of the ball, just like this. And so now you can see that my bunny is already taking shape. Now I'm going to start adding the moss to the bunny. So what I would do is just add sections at a time and I just continued until I finished covering the whole head of the bunny, including the ears. Because the bunny was pretty big, it did take me a while. It took me one bag to do this bunny here. Next, I made a two-loop bow for the bunny, and I used some of this Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. Once I pinched the center, I add a piece of pipe cleaner to keep the bow in place. And then to cover the pipe cleaner, I use another piece of burlap, and I place it in the center. And then I hot glue the bow to the neck of the bunny. And for the nose, I used a pom-pom and I hot glued it to the face of the bunny. Next, I'm going to add some hot glue to the base of the pot and then I'm going to put it inside the planter. And since there's a lot of gap inside the tin planter, I'm just going to add some of these Dollar Tree bags to use them as fillers. Next, I'm going to start adding some more moss until I build it up to the bunny. And to keep the moss from falling out, I did add some hairspray to it. For the next DIY, these are the items that I'll be using. Foam balls from Dollar Tree, two clay planters, and these are the set that come in two from Dollar Tree. And these are the bigger ones. Some burlap ribbon in these two colors, floral moss. So I started off by hot gluing the ball onto my clay planter. I'll be doing the same thing to the other planter. And I'm basically going to do the same thing that I did to the larger bunny. I'm just going to hot glue the moss onto the foam ball. But I'm only going to cover this one foam ball. 
and I'll be following the same steps to the other planter. And I'm just going to clean it up with my scissors and just cut off the excess moss. Now for the ears, I'll be using this ribbon and what I'm going to do is just fold the ribbon in half and then cut it. And then I'm going to cut the sides in an angle to shape it as ears. And then at the bottom of the base, I'm going to fold the corners in. And then I'm going to trim them up just a little bit on the sides just to shape them up more. Next, I'm going to hot glue the ear and I'm not going to put it on top of the head because I want this bunny to seem as if its face is inside the pot. Next, I'll add the second ear right next to it. I'll be following the same steps to the other bunny but I'll be using a different kind of ribbon for the ears. And then lastly, I'll add the pom-pom as a nose. These are the items that I'll be using for this next DIY. Your wall decor from Dollar Tree. Some Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And some acrylic paint in the color burnt umber. And these Dollar Tree carrots. And on my computer, I typed up these words that say carrots, five cents each. I'm going to start by removing the galvanized tin from this wall decor. The next thing that I'm going to do is start painting this wall decor and I'm going to be using the white Waverly chalk paint for that. I really love how this wall decor looks like it has three pieces of wood that were put together and it looks very rustic but I would have preferred for this to have a white color or a white background. So what I decided to do is paint it white but I do want those lines to show through so I am going to be painting alongside of them. I'm going to try not to cover them. After the first coat of paint dried, I gave it a second coat. And now I'm going to define those lines by using the burnt umber acrylic paint. And to give this a more rustic look, I'm going to be adding some paint all around the edges and I'll be doing the dry brush technique. And this is how it turned out. To make these letters transferable, I'm going to turn it over to the back side. And what I'm going to do is outline them with a pencil. This is a very simple and easy hack to transfer letters or words to just about any surface. I'll be using now the tip of this pencil to transfer now the letters onto my board. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the paper and now I'm going to show you that you can see the letters. And now I'm going to go over the letters with a black permanent marker. And then to make the letters just a little bit wider, I'm going to go over them again. And this is how the letters turned out. Next, I'm going to be adding the tin strips back. 
And then lastly, I'm gonna hot glue the carrots in the center. And for this fourth DIY, these are the items that I'll be using. I'm gonna start off by painting my planter with the white chalk paint. I'm gonna let the first coat dry and then I'll give it a second coat. Next, I'm gonna go in with the black acrylic paint and I'm gonna paint the top and bottom rim of the planter. Next, using the sponge with the black acrylic paint, I'm just gonna touch in different areas of the planter to make it seem as if the paint chipped off. Since I painted over the words flowers and garden, I'm gonna use my black marker to go over each letter. The next thing that I'm going to do is cut two pieces of nautical rope because I'll be using those as handles for my planter. And I'll be hot gluing them on each side like this. Next I'll be adding the floral foam to the bottom of the planter. The next thing that I'm going to do is cut this bunny in half. I will be using its feet for this DIY. I'll be using the ears from the head, so I'm going to put this away for now. So now what I'm going to do next is seal off the opening. And what I'm doing here is just tucking in the cotton and then adding some hot glue and then just pinching it together. I was able to seal off the opening with some hot glue. It didn't pinch together as I wanted to, but it did seal it off. So what I'm gonna do is hot glue the legs to the corner of the planter this way. I wanna give the illusion as if the bunny's head is inside the dirt trying to find carrots. So all I'm gonna do is add some hot glue on the underside and then just place it there in the corner of my planter. Next, I'll be adding the bunny tail to the bottom side. And now I'm gonna fill my planter with some green Excelsior. I've already added the onion grass to my planter and now I'm just gonna add the carrots and some flowers. I wanted my carrots to look a bit more realistic, so what I did is hot glue some onion grass blades to my carrots. And then I moved in with the florals. I 
I wanted a display of carrots so what I did is add this pack of carrot seeds there on the side. I am so in love with this project. I absolutely loved how it turned out. And for this next fifth DIY, these are the items that I'll be using. These are Dollar Tree Easter decor. So I started off by taking out the glass and backboard from the picture frame. And right here, all I have is just the cardboard. And what I'm doing here is lining up all the popsicle sticks. I want to see how many popsicle sticks I'm going to need to cover this. I am going to need to cut a smaller pieces so that it can fit all the way to the end of the cardboard. But first, I'm going to cut off the round edges so that it can be squared off. And now that I have all my pieces cut out, I'm going to show you how I'm going to hot glue them onto the cardboard. And I'm going to continue with that same pattern until I cover it all the way down to the bottom. And this is how the board turned out. So I started off with the long piece board and then a smaller one and then the smaller one and then the longer one. And I just continued that pattern. Next, I'm going to start painting my boards and I'm not going to go in any particular order. I just want to create a really nice spring canvas. Once I started with the white paint, I painted the boards that I only wanted white. And then I moved on to the next color and I did the same thing. I only painted the boards that I wanted that particular color. You can use any color combination to your liking. You could even stain them and give them a really nice wood finish. And this is how it turned out and now I'm gonna let this dry for a few hours and now while my canvas is drying I'm gonna paint the picture frame with the white chalk paint and I'm only gonna give it one coat and now I'm gonna hot glue the bunny to the center of my canvas And then I'm going to follow with the carrots and the first one that says happy, I'm going to put it up at the corner and the one that says Easter, I'll be placing it down at the bottom corner. I also made two little small bows like these and I'm going to hot glue them to the top of the bunny's ears. And this is how the second Easter DIY turned out.
And for this sixth DIY, I'll be using these items. From the bunny's head, I'll only be using the bunny ears. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a base or a platform and I'm going to be using the glass candle holder for that. I'm just going to be applying the balls underneath and I'll be using some hot glue. I'm only using the hot glue just to demonstrate how I'm going to create this platform. It's only for this video. But really you need to use some type of super glue so that it can have the permanent hole because hot glue and glass do not stick for a long time. Okay, so I'm ready to start hot gluing the balls. So I've turned my glass candle holder upside down and then I'll be adding the balls on the bottom side as you see me do there. And here is my platform or riser, whatever you want to call it. But there it is and it looks really cute with those balls underneath. It looks different, I think. So now what I'm going to do is take both of these items outside and spray paint them with the color white. Next, I'm going to be cutting off the bunny's ears. And I'm going to hot glue them to the top of the lid. I think this looks really cute and adorable. And now I'm gonna cut some strips from the moss sheet and I'm gonna cut about half an inch. Next, I'm gonna hot glue that strip around the center of the jar. I did have to cut a second strip. And now I'm gonna add the felt carrots all the way around the jar. They already have the sticky tabs, but I am adding some glue just for extra hold. And now I'll be adding these jelly beans to my candy jar. And now I'm going to add the lid. And here's my base for my candy jar, and now I'm ready to place my jar on top of it. You guys, this is just so adorable. And for this next seventh DIY, these are the items that I'll be using. I'm going to start by painting the planters. I've chosen four different acrylic paints for my planters. I will give them one coat of paint and then I'm going to let them dry and then I'll give them a second coat. The planters have a really nice border right in the center. I really love the detail. So what I did is use my sanding block to sand off some of the paint. I'll be doing that to all of the planters. And this is how they turned out. So what I'm going to do is write words on my eggs. 
and I'm gonna freehand the words spring, grow, bloom, and nest using a black marker. And then lastly, I filled my planters with some green excelsior and some green lamb ear picks along with the eggs. And following with the next eighth DIY, I'll be using four five by seven picture frames, two packs of these wood letters, some Spanish moss, some Easter foam eggs, a willow wreath, and the greenery from this floral bouquet, and this Easter decor, three of these Easter wall decor, but I'll only be using the Easter bunnies, and also this love wall decor, and this measures 10 by 6 inches some acrylic paint in white and also dark chocolate, some floral foam, six onion grass bundles, two crocus bouquets, and one tin oval flower pot. First thing that I'm gonna do is remove the bunny off the Easter wall decor. And I'll be using this flat metal ruler just to pry it off. Next, I'm going to hot glue the bunny there on the side of the pot. Next, I'm going to add the two pieces of floral foam into the pot and I'll be hot gluing them. Next, I'll be adding the onion grass, but before that I do that, I'm going to cut the stems off because they're a bit too long. Okay, so now I'm ready to start inserting the onion grass into the foam. I did have to trim off some of the onion grass because it was not behaving. <laughs> Next, I was going to add the crocus, but before that I could do that, I also had to cut the stems off. Now what I did to the crocus, I just kind of fanned them out just so they could spread out some more before I could put them into the foam. And then lastly, I added the Spanish moss. And here For this next DIY, what I'm going to do is remove all the glass and backing from the picture frames, including the little metal holders. After that I do that, I'm ready to start hot gluing the frames together and I'll be hot gluing two side by side and I'll repeat the same process with the other two frames. And then next I'll join the two sets together. And then for extra hole, I added some popsicle sticks on the back side of the frame. Next, I was ready to paint it, so I went ahead and I gave it one coat and I let it dry and then I gave it another coat. Next, I removed this other bunny off this Easter decor, and now I'm ready to start working on the bunny. So I took off the little bow that it had, and I set it aside because I will be using it, but first I started to sand off all the glitter that the bunny has with my sanding block. Next, I was ready to start painting my bunny, and I started to paint it with the chocolate brown paint. And while the paint was still wet, I applied some white paint. And this is how the bunny looks, and now I'm going to set it aside and let it dry. Once the bunny dried, I added the bow back to the bunny. Next, I turned over my frame, and then on the inside corner, I added some greenery. And this is how it looks. And then on the front side, I hot glued my bunny right on the corner where I added the greenery. Next, I took apart this Easter decor, I removed the carrots, and then also the bunny head. 
Then I hot glued one carrot up at the top, the one that says happy. And then the other carrot that says Easter, I placed it in the center bottom. And then I added the bunny face to the center of the frame. Next, I added another carrot to the other corner. And this came from the pack of the Dollar Tree decorative carrots. And then lastly, I added an orange Easter egg to where the brown bunny was at. And now the 10th DIY. Okay, so now we'll be starting on the last DIY. I'm gonna start by removing the metal heart off the love sign. I'll be using my needle nose pliers for that. Next, I'm gonna start to sand off the surface using my sanding block. And now I'm ready to start painting it with the brown paint. Next, I'm gonna set it aside and let the paint dry. Okay, so from the pack of wood letters, I've taken out the word hip and hop. Next, I'm gonna give them a coat of white paint. Okay, so going back to the board, once the paint was dried, I started to add some white paint. And I just started to mix it here and there because I wanted to give this board an old weathered look. I usually use the dry brush technique but this time I wanted to do it just a little bit different. I really did like the end result by doing it this way. Okay, so once the board was dried, I hot glued another white bunny up at the top on the corner. Next, I needed to cut some pieces from the willow wreath and I used my snips, but you can also use scissors for this. Then I started to hot glue the pieces where I wanted them to be and I just continued trimming pieces and just hot gluing them along the side of the board until I got to the very end. And this is how it looks with the willow wreath sticks. Next, I started adding the greenery. And then next, I started to add the little Easter eggs. And then I started to hot glue the letters with the first word hip. And then lastly, the word hop. And this is how the last DIY turned out. So here you go, here are my Dollar Tree Farmhouse Easter DIYs. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share, I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day and remember, love, laugh, and create. Until my next project, bye-bye and God bless.